Howdy folks, Monty here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is issue 24 of the Citadel Journals, and this one has the date on it. It's February, March 1988. So, uh, much later than a lot of the White Wolf coverage we've had on this channel, but uh, still worthy. I'm waiting to hear from, uh, he's a madman, Warhammer 40,000 Tyranid Dominatrix by Matt Meek. Look at that. It's very nice. This is Jarvis Johnson. Welcome to the journal by Jarvis Johnson. Look, I told you occasionally uh, these people wrote. Uh, this is the story of... Uh, he was in Ireland recently. Blah, blah, blah. No, this isn't the story of buying miniatures uh, back in the day. But it certainly makes it official. Oh, look, you can get a Citadel Journal mug, which... Uh, does it say polymorph? Polymorphy mug. Maybe that's a special kind of mug that changes shape or colour, I would imagine. Anyway, subscribe to Citadel Journal. Citadel Journal, tips and tactics. Dacker battle. I realised last one I was turning the pages very quickly because really text I don't think translates very well to uh, YouTube. And uh, trying to find pictures to uh, bring up accordingly. But, uh, this is special rules from the dark. An archiving service. Look, you can get the old journals. Look at that. Look. Oh no, you can buy actual articles from the journals. And uh, this is, I think, four four squid. Yep, four squid. So uh, gosh, two fifty squid per uh, per uh, article, which seems quite expensive. Warriors of Justice by Mike Heaton. This is Epic, 40,000, as it was actually called Epic at this stage. So certainly considerably more updated than uh, the White Dwarves we were looking at. Um, it was just a very different time, the early 2000s, for the Games Workshop. I, mean, I went to um, Warhammer World the week after they stopped allowing back lead purchases, <laughs> which would date me. Um, but yeah, I could have gotten those, the Orcs with chainsaws, that I like chainsaws more importantly. Um, but I had to buy them on the open market. I actually got one through eBay and one through Facebook um, when I came to get one. But they're really hard figures to find. Anyway, <coughs> I went there one week uh, with my wife. I think it was my birthday week, probably 2002, maybe 2003. I don't know, I've got photos online of it. Um, Barbalay's Log, which was my uh, online journal for when I lived in the UK. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff, like, for example, the USA or Kami, for example reference through Barbalay's log and that has all the photos and my Fred Reads, uh, the images there of them. Ooh, look at this. Warhammer Quest Halfling Thief Character Pack. Available only from mail order. I wonder how many thieves you get per thing, whether you get two or whether you get the full six. I would think the full six, but never sure. The Beardy's Guide to Dwarves. Look at these nice ones. So yeah, there was a golden age in the 2000s, early 2000s, where you get old um, Citadel miniatures through the back catalogue. You could order them when you went into Warhammer World and you can actually order them. So that stopped in 2002 and maybe 2003. Uh, and unfortunately I missed it by a week. Which is just that. So this is Christopher Reed here. Maximus Tacticus race specific strategy cards in Warhammer 40,000. Wow. I'm thinking this is third edition? Third edition maybe? Warhammer 40,000? Maybe 4th edition, I think it was 3rd edition. I own both 3rd and 4th edition, though I think 3rd edition covered me um, up until probably 2004. And this is 1998, so yeah, this is very definitely 3rd edition. Warhammer 40,000, yes, there was a 3rd edition, kids. <laughs> there might be a 10th edition now, but there was actually a 3rd edition uh, back in the day. Oh, look at these, all the shops, or are these clubs? I think they must be clubs, they must be clubs. Coming gaming, or gaming contacts, yes, these are clubs. Westwood Ho 3. Westwood Ho 1 and 2 must have been uh, quite the parties if they developed oh, Westwood Ho 3. Oh, you've got to like the uh, fan photos. Warp Divisions. Reader's Gallery. Look, readers can send in their, their pictures. Catching and Devils, My Tournament Army by Gareth Hamilton. Is there a photo of Gareth Hamilton somewhere here? 
Sadly, no, but there's plenty of his Ketchikan devils. Look at those guys. It was an interesting time for Ketchikans because they just had a, um, a codex come out. So, you know, it was an exciting times if you like modeling jungle and uh, like the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies of, uh, <laughs> is it the early 90s or the late 80s? I don't know. If you like the Predator movie. Well, it was in a white dwarf recently, right? I remember reading it out. So here we are. Is anyone out there? Which is, I think, a bunch of uh, letters. Overwatch. Oh, more fan photos. More fan and club photos playing Blood Bowl. The painting table. A den of frenzied activity. Well, at least amongst one dude. <laughs> Bits and tips. Chaos Space Marines. Ah, oh, this was the day. Oh, look at this. Look at all the beauties you could get assembled in bits. And here we have the... Uh, Oh, look at this. Look at this. A Terminator Lord, which you assemble from parts. Very interesting. Anyway, this is Matt's Weimar 40,000 Tyranid Hierophant Bio Titan in all its beauty. And this is the uh, back page. So if you like these um, Citadel journals, I, the, the faithful have not been commenting on my videos. Um, I have to confess I had a late night fracas with Andrew. And uh, my hope is Andrew continues to watch these videos at some stage, but I understand if he's the one unsubscriber in recent days. The model, or sorry, the motto is uh, don't communicate with Monty after midnight is time. <laughs> and it wasn't his fault at all. I just saw him online. But oh, while I wait for this other thing to happen, I can chat with Andrew. Well, boy, was that a mistake. Anyway, so yes, feel free to befriend me on Facebook, but watch out if it's um, past midnight my time. That's all I have to say. Anyway. Tom Barbalay in Las Vegas, Nevada, signing out.